Hi, my name is Timo Rath. I'm head of the endoscopy um, and of endoscopic research at the University Hospital in Erlangen. And I'm senior author of a just recently published article in GI endoscopy called Endocytos Endocytoscopy for Assessing Histologic Inflammation in Ulcerative Colitis, Development and Prospective Validation of the ELECT score. Hi, my name is Francesco Vitali and then uh, I'm consultant in the department. Right, um, and Francesco is the first author of the study which we would like to introduce you to uh, in the following five minutes. So first of all, why did we do this study? Well, as you all know, achieving endoscopic remission is a key therapeutic target in IBD endoscopy that is advocated by several clinical guidelines in the field. However, Substantial disparity exists between endoscopic findings and histologic findings. And histologic remission only has a poor correlation uh, to endoscopic remission. And at the same time, as evidenced by several meta-analyses in the field, especially in UC, histologic remission even better predicts disease outcome in ulcerative colitis compared to clinical or endoscopic remission. So with this, we have an unmet need in IBD endoscopy, which is an endoscopic technique that not only allows us to assess uh, the mucosa on a macroscopic level, but that can also detect um, persistent histologic inflammation or can confirm um, histologic remission. And one of these techniques is endocytoscopy. Now, what is endocytoscopy? Endocytoscopy, in brief, is contact microscopy, meaning that we have uh, integrated into uh, an otherwise standard endoscope, the possibility to continuously magnify the mucosa from standard view to up to 520 fold. And if we add topical contrast agents, we can also stain cellular cytoplasm and cellular nuclei. And through a hand lever, we can continuously magnify the mucosa from standard view up to 520 fold magnification. And if we then use topical contrast agents, such as methylene blue and crystal violet, we can stain cellular nuclei and also cellular cytoplasm, meaning that we can have high magnification, um, dye-stained um, tissue sections of the intestinal mucosa compared to an H and E staining um, uh, from our pathologists. So with this study, we had a um, dual intent. Uh, first of all, we aim to develop and then to prospectively validate an easy to calculate um, uh, elect or endocytoscopy score that can be readily applied in daily practice, but also can detect um, accurately histologic inflammation or confirm um, histologic remission. And secondly, we aim to explore whether this newly developed endocytoscopy score can predict the further course of disease in IBD patients. And based on this dual intent of the study, we also had two phases of the study. In the first study, we aim to develop a new score that is easy to calculate. And this development was um, done um, based on a consensus meeting between three experts in IBD endoscopy and also involved IBD pathologists. And for development of the score, um, we had access to um, almost 10,000 endocytoscopy images from UC patients reflecting the whole spectrum of disease. And in the second phase of the study, we then applied this score in daily practice and prospectively included 46 UC patients with long-term follow-up. Um, and as a reference, we used histopathology um, and histopathologic scoring um, of inflammatory activity or microscopic disease activity was based on two validated scores in the field, which is the Roberts Histology Index and the non Histology Index. So now what did we see? Well, long story short. First of all, we did see a strong correlation between endocytoscopic grading along the ELECT score of microscopic um, activity um, uh, to standard histopathology. And secondly, we also observed a very high inter-observer agreement in endocytoscopic grading of inflammatory um, disease activity along this ELECT score. And for this, we had four different endoscopists involved in the study, 
and they scored uh, the endocytoscopy, endocytoscopy images or video blinded to the clinical results. And yet we had a very high inter-observer agreement. And thirdly, um, we did see that endocytoscopy was as accurate as histopathological scoring for forecasting the further course of disease. So these are the major findings of the study. So, Timo, do you think that this tool or this new technique uh, would uh, allow us uh, to assess uh, the uh, mucosal healing on a real time? Oh yeah, uh, our, our study certainly supports um, uh, this concept that we have an in vivo technique that is as good almost as um, standard um, histopathology or HLE staining for grading microscopic disease activity. And I strong believe that this is important already now, but will be even more important in the future. Because if we look at clinical trials, histologic remission um, is an emerging endpoint that um, in the future will certainly be um, more important as a further endpoint in uh, IBD endoscopy, especially in UC. So I think with this we have, we can use endocytoscopy also as kind of a tailoring device um, to identify those patients that are at high risk for developing complicated um, disease behavior. So with this, thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you very much and uh, I hope uh, you like our paper and I hope uh, you, will, you will validate uh, such uh, wonderful tools, uh, such technique also in the other part of the world. Thank you very much.